All right, Steve, so we've talked about this a lot over the years. Um, it's been popularized on TV for years. Yep. Um, I think it's been used as a crutch. But um, from your perspective, is there such thing as a call book on any property, especially free range properties? I don't believe there is. Um, I believe the call book came, as you said, out of television. Um, I think it's no different than we used to call a flight attendant a stewardess. I think we've just made it a call buck is now a management buck. Uh, makes it more acceptable. Uh, and it comes from the philosophy that we need to go out there and remove that individual to make room for others. That's never going to be a trophy. So that animal is of zero to little value. Let's get it off the property and make room for others. Outside of high fences, I don't believe call bucks exist. There is a value to every individual that's out there, I believe. You'll see an antler, you'll see a buck that has four or five points on one side and just a spike on the other, that someone will call it a, well, that's a cull buck, that's a managed buck. We need to remove that one. That buck may not have trophy value in terms of book trophy value, but that buck has value to your herd in terms of a mature individual that is improving social stability, is reducing the amount of length of your breeding season, is getting your does bred quicker, is suppressing breeding of your younger males so that they can go on and they put less effort into the breeding season, come out of the breeding season better, and have larger antlers the next year. Um, and that animal, is its genetics is not five on one side and a spike on the other. This is the genetics on the good antler. This is just a pedicle damage on the other. I believe we've taken the, what we've seen on TV and tried to apply it to free range herds. What I tell my students is the only place that should be culling bucks is a place that has an overabundance of bucks. And I have yet to ever see one on free range. Hey everybody, today we're looking at the new supercharged scent killer from Wildlife Research Center. I know you've probably used scent killer for decades. I have, it's a good product, it really does work. They have a supercharged formula, which makes it even better. You can carry a small bottle of this. Think of it as condensed version of scent killer. Supercharged, the new formula has an autumn scent to it, kind of an earthy scent. I really like it, especially for my backpacks and my boots. All I have to do, light coating on everything, let it dry, and then you can go hunt. It really is a nice product. Just coat. You don't have to get crazy with this. You don't have to use too much of it. Just coat your boots, let them dry. They're gonna be scent free. Nice on a day like this, just to get this, just a slight saturation. Same thing with our backpacks. Supercharged Scent Killer from Wildlife Research Center. Check it out at wildlife.com.